CC, the canvas. Thank you. So hello, everyone. Now we go to the part two after your excellent uh, table exercise. Uh, so previously, Emmanuel introduced and also Ian introduced our component specification. OK, our, also our talented experts find some component missing and encourage me to work even harder. I really appreciate that. OK, and now is uh, to introduce my part is about Canvas. Before that, I also would like to ask you a small question. Uh, any of you can give me an example of what kind of Canvas it is? So if you answer my question, you can get a small gift from WebCloud's booth, OK? <laughs> I'll be pleased. OK, great. OK, so load balancing is a typical example of Canvas services. Exactly. What kind of ODA Canvas? ODA Canvas is a specification of a set of Canvas services, okay, which is required to provide you the plug and play environment for ODA components, just like your table exercise. So the background is our ODA Canvas. Okay, how's work? I will give you examples what kind of Canvas services, including like we listing here, okay, like component management, component deploy, activation, scaling, and also identity, uh, identity management, such as user account management and role play bridge management, and also monitoring, such as component status monitoring, and also API traffic monitoring, and reporting dashboard. Okay, all these are common Canvas services. You may have different vendors or different environment, different kind of infra. You may have your own standards. But in here, in our projects, what we want to present to you is based on this cloud native architecture, what we recommend you as a standard specification of Canvas service should be. So in here, I would like to use identity management as an example. You may all familiar with identity management. We have different type of identity management providers like Azure, like Keycloak. Actually, in our Open Digital Lab at AWS, we're using the open source Keycloak. Okay, identity management and authentication will be provided as a Canvas service in our lab. Actually, it's already deployed. So what does it mean? It means each component do not need to, how to say, deal with this identity management by itself, but can directly utilize the identity and authentication uh, management services provided by ODA Canvas. So from the operational point of view, that means each component from different vendor do not need to think about how to do the identity management. There will be only one way of doing identity management rather than each different application have its own way to doing things. When this principle is applied across all the common Canvas services, that will result in the operational savings and TCO reductions. This is our target. So in this uh, slide, we summarize the benefits OD Canvas can bring to your system, can bring to your company. Okay, because a lot of our customers and audience ask me, what's the benefit bring by OD Canvas? In here, we summarize into experts. One is the from the operational point of view, it will be simplify and accelerate your digital transformation, make your deployment, monitoring, and control more flexible and more easier. Okay, and also from the competitive point of view, it will be give you a fast, uh, short time to market for business innovation. Okay, and after we talking about this kind of benefits, how is be realized in the real system? Okay, so this part, I will give you a presenting you a lot of demo cases in here, but we still not have enough time, so I will pick up several part of it. Okay, and also you can get the material download. And this demo is not only done by me, actually it's a summarize of talents from our project ODSCA. Some is from Vodafone, some is from Oracle, some is from WorkCloud, and other members in our ODSCA projects. Okay, if you're interested in our projects, you can contact Andy, uh, Ian, uh, any of us to join our projects. Okay, this is advertisement. Ad advertisement. Okay, so in here, the basic functionality is 
how we deploy it. Previously, you see this hexagon. That's right, you see this hexagon. How it's be deployed, how it's be activated, how this API be uh, discovery and the registered and the delete. How we're doing this? We can see the first demo. So would you please trigger the first demo? <coughs> Uh, this is record by uh, uh, Chief Architecture of Vodafone Group, Leslie Thomas, from our Open Digital Lab. Okay, we can see here in Open Digital Lab, we also using the common standards uh, Kubernetes uh, definitions by uh, YAML file as envelope. Each of the part uh, definition just uh, previously we introduced will be described as a standard Kubernetes metadata in this YAML file, as we call it envelope. It's a machine readable envelope. Okay, so using this, we defined, for example, the, the specification, the namespace, like the component, and this we deployed is a product catalog. Okay, and we define like the first most important part, the call function. In the call function, we defined exposed API and dependent API. And in here, what is the monitoring exposed APIs 620? You many of the table already use this one to provide you the query product specification of a list of a detailed offering pricing. Okay, and in here, what kind of thing what we do when we deploy this kind of component? In here, we're using a demo of product catalog. We also provide you like an open source demo application. You can download from GitHub. Also, you can download the canvas, alpha version and beta version from the uh, GitHub of ODA. You can try uh, any standard Kubernetes cluster, okay. While we're using the Helm to start the deployment where things happen, because it's a standard uh, Kubernetes mechanism, so it can be running on any standard uh, okay, a Kubernetes environment. And also we can using the kube control to get the status. We can see it will be take several seconds. And now it's in progressing. Okay, and the first customerize the resources we labeled by metadata is already be generated. And also with the endpoint, okay, which kind of, because our uh, Open Digital Lab is located in the UK site, so it's in here. Also, in our, we're using Rancher, like the control portal, so not only we can using the Kubernetes command to see the status, to check the status and API, also we can view from the uh, GUI to see. In here, Rancher provides you the customer resources definitions and uh, display. In here, we can see the component. <coughs> so that is a different way for you to do the view, okay? And also, we can see the APIs. What kind of API uh, we expose by this demo product catalog component? Okay, we can see we provide the monitoring APIs. First the one, product catalog metrics for observability and the product party role for security control. And last one, product catalog management for the call functionality. Okay. And previously, we can see from the ODA directory, there are still other like event, like other is optional. So that means optional, you can provide, is better. If you not provide, it's also compliant with the specification. Okay, so this detail part, we just uh, skip it. It's also following the standard Kubernetes definition for the specification and for the status. Okay, maybe back to the uh, demo page. <coughs> yes, okay, so as we say previously, that is the how we deploy a uh, common component. We're using the product catalog as example. And a lot of our audience also asked me, how can I know my component, my microservices, is complying with ODA standards? So in this occasion, we provide you the validating and the certification tools. We also using CTK. Okay, now we are just to show you what kind of CTK we provide for you. Some of you may be already familiar with the Open API CTK, that's right, to testing the functionality provided by your Open API. And in here, what kind of thing we provide you for our ODA component? We provide you two level CTK. The first level is standardized to validating if it's complying with the standardization, uh, the guideline we defined in the specification. 
Okay, if all the metadata is be leveled, be organized based on the standard coolness requirement, level two is testing the service provided. Okay, and in here, we also embedded with the CDK of different open APIs required as mandatory open API. So we can see here, uh, if we list, we have the two level, four type of testing. Level one, static, level one, dynamic, level one, level two, static, and level two, dynamic. If it's static, check the definition, the YAML files. If it's dynamic, check the status of the customized resources create based on your YAML files. Okay, then we can directly run in this command. You can see this is a test result of the level one static. You can see here all these resources, uh, one, two, three, four, eleven, is monitoring one, it's been labeled, then it's passed. Okay, how about the, uh, we also have the dynamic one. Okay, this is the level one dynamic. Well, check the status of your component is correct. The API you created is can be, uh, how to say, can be get, or uh, usually we're using get to check if it's available, okay. And also we have the level two. Level two is will be, level one, the CTK is common. That for product catalog, service catalog, resource inventory, same CTK. And level two, because it's related with the core functionality provided by this component, so it will be different. How is different? By the Open API Exposure API CDK. So in here, for different CDK level two CDK, this will be embedded with this uh, Exposure API CDK. So that means when we run in this level two, it will be called the Postman to check the use cases we defined in Open API projects. Also, we'll see this result will be generated by Postman automatically. And you can see this uh, checkpoints, how many success, how many failures give you the result, and also the different kind of the use cases, request, normal one, two, three, and the error one, two, three, okay. So, uh, okay, so we do not have enough time, so we just uh, gave a summary. Previously, we show is the demo we deploy or test on the AWS Open Digital Lab. And we say for this kind of monitoring, for this kind of traffic control, for this kind of load balancing, identity management, um, different kind of cloud infra, uh, this can be different vendors or different kind of mechanism. So that means our lab, AWS, or we say the Canvas, is only a reference implementation. I will give you another implementation is we deployed by, Ali, uh, by World Cloud, my company, in Ali Cloud, okay, public cloud in Hong Kong. Okay, previously the demo is in the AWS UK, and now we see the last one. We can see, although the portal, uh, because it's developing by different company, uh, different color, different style, but functionality is all compliant with our ODA Canvas specification. Okay, so in our homepage, we list the ODA components deploy on this testing bed. And if we click on that, we can see there's a two product catalog component, the number with the instance. For the detail, we can also see there's two version of instance. One is the demo one for the open source for testing. The another is our commercial one for our listed version, uh, version nine for our cloud native BSS, okay? And also for the API monitoring in AWS, in our open digital lab, we're using Istro and uh, uh, how to say, <coughs> the Kiali to show the uh, traffic. And you can see the uh, material after you download this. Okay, and in here, we're using some other kind of component to see the display of API traffic. And also in here, this is event. What kind of logging is be monitoring in here? Okay, we can see the details. Uh, for example, this is the marketplace. As we say, ODA, the target is to building this uh, plug and play marketplace. All this different kind of YAML for different kind of functional component like product catalog or non-functional component like the database, like the load balancing Canvas services, this thing here. Okay, so through this GUI, the engineer team can easily to create and uh, can be monitoring cross different multi-cloud environment, okay. 
and easy to check this YAML files default values in detail. Okay, if you okay uh, more comfortable with working with Kubernetes commands, it's okay. You can use in command line. Or uh, if you using more but how to say, convenient to using the portal, you can use in this kind of GUI. So it depends on your choice. Okay, after that, we can see the detail. So we can use the cook control to check the status. We also can use this comprehensive detail view to see all the different kind of configuration, instance, APIs, customized resources, and the log and the history. Okay. Like in here, we are using the MongoDB as a demo cases and also the party row product API. So, and one thing I want to mention is in here, this component we deployed previously demo in AWS and in here in Ali Cloud is the same, same code, okay, same component, same YAML file, cross different cloud infra. So this is also the benefit we just mentioned before. Make your digital transformation more easier and speed up the procedure, okay? And also we can see that using the CTK, you can directly using the command, you can also using the portal, okay? You can define this portal to embed the CTK on the grid. Then if you're a testing engineer, or if you can embed it in your, how to say, your CICD flow, trigger it automatically while each time building a new component from the software GitHub, okay? And also last one is how we handling this kind of the Kubernetes API. Okay, and in here in our environment, one important thing is based on the Kubernetes standard mechanism to extend the operator uh, to do the automatic configuration of the customized resources. And in here, different kind of the component, they may need different kind of handler, different kind of operator, and they may have the sequence flow in this occasion, some of time you can directly using some uh, scraping language to design in backend. And in this occasion, we also provide you the fast functionality to do the orchestration on the front end. It will be make more secure, more easy, more easy to, um, how to say, handle this kind of functionality. Okay, so this is the demo for another reference implementation of ODA Canvas. Okay, that's all for my part. And I will go back, back to Ian and uh, 